Yes, yes, yes. Star Wars Rebels is back. Hey everybody, it's Marshall Monkey here. I'm just giving my Star Wars Rebels season three, episode one and two review. I don't know. Like they always do this extended pre like the extended premiere. I don't know if this is episode one and two or three or what. I, I don't know. It's all out of whack, but I'll look it up later on. But anyway, this is gonna be my review for the season three premiere. Super exciting. I cannot wait to see more of this season. So we have a lot to discuss, so let's get to it. So in this episode, we see the rebels back again at it, back at it, back at it again with the rebels. Uh, we see Kanan, well not Kanan, no, Ezra, but he's grown, Ezra's grown, so he looks a lot like Kanan now, which we'll talk about in a second, we see uh, Ezra, Zeb, Sabine, Chopper, all rescuing our favorite space pirate, Hondo, Hondo is so much fun to be around, I just, I can't wait to see what else they have him do this season, it was great bringing him back in season 2, 1 or 2, I can't remember which season they brought him back in, uh, but yeah, Hondo, fantastic, I don't think they'll end up killing him off just yet, uh, I don't even know if they ever will, he's really old now, we'll have to see what happens with him uh, later on in the season. Uh, so Ezra's using more of his force powers that he's gotten from the Sith holocron, like learning from the Sith holocron. We see all of them witnessing it. Uh, Sabine, nice hair, changing your hair every season. Uh, but yeah, so Ezra has kind of um, unlocked this other side of the force that he hasn't ha been able to do before with the Sith holocron. We see Ezra older, we see him more mature, but we see him making bad choices because of himself. And like that uh, force wielder from the like the the desert said it's not the object that makes you a sith or you know it's not it's not the object that turns you bad it's you know the will of your own choices and sometimes even choosing to help your friends can lead you to that down that dark path so we'll see that dark path dark path i don't know we'll see uh, what happens with that kanan of course with his uh his sight gone you know he can't see anymore he's blind now uh I, i'm excited for that arc I think that it was really just emotionally crazy back in the season two finale when they made him blind. I'm excited to see where he goes down that path with this force bender. We saw him kind of unlock the key to himself and being able to help the rebels again. We'll see him go down more of those paths later on the season. Uh, but he's still growing as a as a master as well. So we'll see what choices he makes and what choices Ezra makes. Uh, we got Rex again this season. Really exciting. I wonder if they're gonna kill off Rex anytime soon. I hope not. It's just fun having him back. The voice reminds me of the Clone Wars. It's just so cool having him. Maybe he'll even tell some more Clone Wars stories. We'll see. Um, and then of course Kanan uh, with the with the Force wielder. Uh, it's really interesting. Again, we're gonna see Kanan go down. You know, you know when you never you never thought about it in season one with Kanan growing as a character, but in season three, I think that he's growing more as a character than he ever did in the first two seasons. So we'll see more of that as well. Uh, and then we have this new Grand Admiral Thrawn, I believe that was his name. He's going to be the next big villain of the season. We got Darth Maul, or not, well, kind of Darth Maul, but we got Darth Vader. We've got uh, the Inquisitor. We have the two Inquisitors. Now we have uh, this Grand Admiral. So we'll see what kind of fight he puts up with the Rebels as well. Uh, and then Kanan losing his sight. Again, really interesting arc. I think that... We're going to have to see if he can, if, like, is he going to be able to see all the time with the Force now? Or will there be moments where he can't, you know, will he struggle down that path? We'll see. Uh, I'm excited for that as well. Hondo did end up, did end up escaping. Uh, we might see more of him later on this season. So that's, you know, put that in the back of your brain that we're probably going to see Hondo again. Uh, but, which is exciting because you always love seeing Hondo. Um, so we'll see more of him. I guarantee it. Now, the Rebels, so they all end up huddling around at the end of the episode, and they're all like, you know, Ezra, you're suspended, and all that stuff. Ezra is older. He has matured. It'll be interesting to see if we meet any new characters that will help him choose his choices. I really want to see him with people his own age, with people that, you know, are a little bit darker and rebellious, rather than him, and maybe turn him over. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but it, it'll be interesting to see where that path lies. Uh, and again... It's really interesting to see now that he's on an Anakin path. You know, in the beginning of the series, he was a Luke path. Now he's on this Anakin path with the dark side. We'll see if he shifts back and forth from those paths being Luke to Anakin. So what did you guys think of the episode? Comment down below. I'll review the next episode, and I'll also get some other videos out for you guys this weekend. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.